Hi everyone, my name is Jennifer. I'm here today to show you how to make some pop-up cards for Mother's Day. So we did two different techniques here. I'll show you both. So um, this one's got a little foldy pop-up that sort of pops up off the page. It's using a few different levels. So I'll show you how to do that one. Um, and then second of all, I'll show you how to do this one. So I've created a little monster mouth pop-up. Um, and you're probably thinking, what does a monster have to do with Mother's Day? So I wrote, dear mum, I know I can be a bit of a monster sometimes, but I love you lots. Have a great Mother's Day. Love, Jen. My mum calls me a monster all the time. So, <laughs> all right. So to do this first one, I'll show you. So you need two sheets of paper for any of these cards because you have the pop-up layer and then the cover layer. So um, I'll show you how to do this one. You don't really need colored paper either. You can just use plain white paper if you prefer. Um, actually, I might use plain white paper and then I'll show you how it looks with plain white paper because we've got the color examples. So um, you'll need to fold both your sheets in half. So just like that, just like a book shape. So the same with the other sheet. It's a bit hard white on white to see what's happening, but and they're going to be glued to each other eventually like that. So to create these little slits, you need to cut down the part of the paper where the join is. You can do as many slits as you want really, but um, how far in you go um, will depend on how high your pop-up goes. Um, and it also affects anything that you're gonna stick on. So I tend to go for the sort of smaller slits. So you'll cut two, make two cuts the same length and that'll be your first pop-up. So you basically open the card and then you'll push that paper out in the opposite direction and fold it over. So when you close your card, I might do it on the glue so you can see, when you close the card like that, that'll be your first pop-up like that. So I'll do a long one for you and show you what happens when you do a long one. So here's a longer strip we're gonna do. So if we push this one back, so we've made that one too long. So now it's not gonna fit inside the card. So that's why I always sort of go for the smaller ones. And then if you were to stick something on top of this as well, that would also stick out of the card. So it's just gonna look really messy. So the best thing you can do is create some smaller slits. So round two, lucky I folded two pieces of paper. So we'll just cut it again. I might just do two slits in this one. Okay, so we open it up. So you've got your slits and your slits, and then you just fold it in reverse, pinch it on the other side, pinch it where the fold is. And then when you close it, it should just naturally sort of fold over and create those joints. But that looks like a messy card still, doesn't it? Like you don't really want to give your mum a card with holes in it. So you're going to need to cover up those holes. So we fold the second piece of paper and now this goes over the top. So it just looks like a normal card on the outside, but bam, we've got these little pop-ups. So you glue the two pieces together. You just need to put a little bit of glue on the top and bottom. You could put a little bit down the sides, but you don't really need it. Okay, so. And just make sure the papers match up. I'm not a perfectionist, so mine might not be perfect, but anyway. All right, so when you open it up, you've got your little pop-ups and you might like to stick something onto them. So I've just um, printed off some little flowers and stuff. You could print off some love hearts. This one looks a bit huge, but if you don't have a printer around, you can also cut shapes with, your, with paper. So you could fold this in half and to cut a love heart, you sort of start cutting a bit of a circle. And as you go in, it turns a bit into a triangle. And when you open it up, oh, it's not a very good love heart. I think we need a bit more of a curve. So. There we go. 
So you don't really need a printer. You could just do it yourself. And obviously if you didn't have colour paper, you could just use white paper and colour it in. So you could do a little love heart and a flower, and then you can write a really nice birthday message to your mum. So that's the first one, but if you'd like to do something a bit more creepy and funny, I'll show you how to do this one next. Okay, so now we're going to do the second card, which is this one, the monster pop-up. Now you don't have to just do a monster. Um, all we're showing you really is how to do the mouth fold. So you could pick another animal, like, uh, you know, you could turn this into a shark card and you could say, uh, you know, to my mama shark, love from your little baby shark on Mother's Day, make it a little bit funny, or I'm sure you can think of better puns than me. Um, so I'll show you how to do the mouth fold. So again, you're gonna need the two sheets, same technique as the first one. So two papers folded in half, not as many cuts though. So we only need to make one cut for this. So there's just one cut down the middle. So if you wanted a bigger mouth, you could do a longer cut, it's up to you. So now you just have to fold the paper over into two little triangle sort of shapes. And the harder you push these down, the easier it will be for you to fold the mouth back in. So you've got your two little fold marks now that you can see. Now we need to get those on the inside. So we need to push them through and push that one through as well. It's a little bit fiddly. Oh, here we go. All right, so we've got one, two, and then you'll end up with something like that. And when you open it, you've got your little moving mouth. So again, we put glue on either side. It's just started raining. I don't know if you can hear it in the background. So we've stuck the two bits together and now you've got your talking mouth card. So maybe I'll see if I can draw a shark. Don't judge my artistic abilities. <laughs> All right. So maybe this is a shark. Probably needs a few little fins. And some black eyeballs. So I'm sure yours will be a little bit better than mine. But there's your little shark. And you could always stick something inside um, to make his tongue. So we ended up using a love heart in this one to make a little crazy tongue. Or you don't really need the tongue. It's up to you if you want to put one in. But something that you might want to do if you don't put um, a tongue in is maybe colour the background of the paper. So you might want it black on the inside. Now this would have been better to do beforehand. Luckily the glue's not dry yet. So I just... I think it'll look more effective when you open and close the card. So yeah, I think that looks a little bit better. You might want to color a bit more, but there you go. And so this one could be your Mama Shark to Baby Shark Mother's Day card, or you can do a crazy monster like me. Hope you've had fun. Um, see you soon. Happy Mother's Day.